Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. Last time we rescued the kingdom of Salagoon from Glade, and uh, the king actually believes us, and he's going to send his troops to uh, liberate Marion. Only their strategy isn't all that hot because they're only going to be crossing the bridge, they're not going to be using any other ways to get to Marion Castle. So if you go to the bridge, the soldiers will just say, it's too narrow, we're getting annihilated here. They don't tell you what to do, as usual. So I'm going to tell you what to do. In fact, no NPCs really tell you what to do. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's beyond the beyond for you. You have to go inside of this cave right here, which is due west of Zalagoon, and fight incredibly, insanely easy enemies from the very beginning of the game. The same enemies we fought in, like, that tree dungeon. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. Edward's going first, because he's the fastest, and he's one-shotting them with his physical attacks. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, so anyway, just keep on going through. Looting and exploring. So there's two paths to take here. Take the southern path first. We'll have to go back to that northern path. And some of you might recognize this cave. I did a little bit of grinding in here much earlier in the game. Remember the cave that I went into where the dragon was? This is the same cave. Yeah, it spans from that mountain inn all the way over towards uh, Zalagoon here. So that's all the treasure that we can get um, in this area. So now we need to go back and take that northern path that we ignored earlier. One step away! Okay, so in here... Huh. Is this like a lake or is this a mist? What in the world is that? I honestly don't know. It's just the, the, the void? We're looking down to the abyss or something? I don't know what that is. Huh. There's like a dilapidated house here. What's this? Oh, it's locked! Of course it's locked. Huh, nothing there. No key or anything. Keep that chest of mine for later. What's this? Oh, this is from David's father. Oh, his love. Oh. Huh. How interesting. Whenever we save David's father, we're gonna have to ask him about that. Looks like they maybe ran away from home and lived here? In this cave, even though she was a princess? That's kind of odd. Yeah, there's that dragon still sleeping there. And there's the treasure that I got much earlier in the game. So yeah, let's just get on out of here. We're through with this place. But that's kind of a cool touch there, that this dragon cave, like, Kevin's knew about it. But wouldn't you think that Edward would have had something to say? I mean, it was his sister, after all and he had nothing to say about it. Oh, there's that mountain cottage. If you need to rest or save or whatever, you can remember this place. Yeah, um, they raised the price by 10 gold at the end though, but who really cares? So now we need to backtrack through this cave right over here, and I'm just gonna meet you on the other side. Except that I forgot about this scene right here. Yeah, this is where Percy sacrificed himself and the gate's broken. Huh, that's all we have to say about that. Annie doesn't even say anything, it's just Steiner. I've made it out of there. Didn't take all that long. I only got, like, three encounters, shockingly enough. Huh, at least we don't have to solve that puzzle again. Mm, hate that puzzle. That's, like, the worst part of replaying this game, is having to resolve that stupid puzzle. Oh, hey there. Oh. So much for being imposters. Poor guy. Huh, so we can't save or anything. That kind of sucks. Okay, so now we need to head on down to that bridge, which is right here. So now we're on the other side. We're on the Marian side, and we can get a jump on these Bandorian soldiers. This is going to be great. I got you now. Yikes! Okay, so here we have some very, very easy Bandor soldiers to take care of. Don't worry about wasting your MP here. Um, they do have rather um, a lot of defense, though. 
but they should only have roughly 40-ish HP, so hopefully we can take them out in one round. Really, game? Seriously? Yeah. Come on. Maybe I sh um, I, I guess that guy's back row, and that's why it's taking so long to take him out, so um, we'll try. Okay, yeah, this is much better against this guy. Yeah, my mages can actually put a dent in him. And he's the one carrying the shield. You would think that he would have more defense power, but like I said, that guy is in the back row. Okay, so one down, one more to go. It'd be kind of nice if whenever you killed the person that was in the, um, in the front row, that the person in the back row automatically became front row, but it doesn't work that way. So yeah, I took them out. Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh no! And I really do mean oh no. Because remember those soldiers that we fought back in, um, the cave where they had 500 HP? They're back! So yeah, these are all repeat enemies, and this is going to take quite some time, so I'm just going to cut it out. Okay, took care of them. Oh, perfect! Yeah, here's the, uh, Zalyun soldiers. Very nice. So if you want to, now you can use the bridge and head on back to Zalagoon. There's no reason to do that right now, though, and I really do want to head over towards, uh, Marion, and just make sure that everybody's okay, make sure that Edward's parents are okay, and Percy, maybe he was captured by the enemy too. Kind of forgot about Percy. Not to mention Sir Kevin's as well. Maybe Isla Village. I certainly hope that they're doing all right, that they haven't been invaded as well. Let's see, where's Mary? I actually passed it. It's over here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, head on inside. Good! You know, the Bandor soldiers are killed now. You can go to the shops here, but they sell the same stuff as they did at the very beginning of the game, so there's no reason to. Oh, well, no problem. All in a day's work. Yeah, I guess we caught him off guard. Otherwise, Zalagoon probably wouldn't have had a chance against Bandor. Huh, either that or Bandor really sucks and they're all cowards. Oh, by the way, if you go into Isla Village, no one says anything different. You can't go into Annie's house. Um, you can't do anything else like that, so there's really no purpose to going there. Hey there. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, we will be going back to Isla Village, though. Do not worry. Uh, dialogue and things like that will change once we liberate Marion. But right now, it hasn't... Like this, the flag hasn't been hit and hasn't changed yet. Uh, Samson sucks. Don't put all your stock into him. That door's locked, so don't worry about it. Why don't you go outside and see? But then again, you're an old man. You probably shouldn't, uh, shouldn't put yourself at risk like that. Yeah, you know, all these soldiers, they just appear to be lifeless, so I don't feel any need to, uh, talk to them. Hey there. Oh. Hmm. A dark cloud on the horizon. Didn't Erewhon say something about that? BAM! I really, really, really like how these soldiers are actually killing the Bandor soldiers. And they're not saying like, oh, we shouldn't kill them, you know? They're, they're just following orders. Or any of the other bullshit excuses that you normally hear in RPGs. So basically, right now, since there are random encounters, you really don't want to go exploring any more than necessary. Oh, okay, here we have a new enemy, the Dark Bishop. Let's go after him first. Um, let's see. I'll have Taunt use a Fire Drake. I probably should have went to the inn back whenever I was in Marion. The inn and the church and all that kind of stuff was open, but... Eh, it's not too bad. We don't have a boss fight here. So I'm not too concerned about it. Those Bandor soldiers are such a pain in the ass. They can use herbs to heal themselves too, in addition to dealing a ton of damage with their physical attacks. It's really bad. 
They can also cast the attack spell on each other, raising each other's attack stat, which is equally as obnoxious. Ooh. But Annie doesn't put up with their shit, and she uses a critical attack on them. I love Annie. She's so good. Look at Annie's LP compared to everybody else's. She is double the LP of Samson. Like, double. And again, Annie's not putting up with your crap. She ain't playing. She's guarding. She's critical hitting. Love her. So let's just follow those soldiers. Got you cornered. Kill him. Oh, I love this. Bam! <laughs> oh, that gate that we saw earlier that we couldn't get to. Hmm. I wonder what's beyond that. Let's go find out for ourselves. What's that? Who's... Is that the king? Oh. That's the king of Bandor. Um... I have three mages. Now is your chance. Shoot him with fire or holy light. Summon a fire drink of his ass. Do something. Well, we should be hitting the switch. Yeah, because, you know, God forbid we actually do something, go after them. Why don't we set the carriage on fire? That'd be a nice thing to do. Now, let's just have a full-fledged conversation here right in front of the enemy. I mean, come on. Wow. We are all completely useless. We could have stopped this right here just by assassinating him. <sighs> oh. Okay, we didn't have the key. How, how did the soldiers have the key? Like, that doesn't make any sense. They were soldiers from Zalagoon. Why would they have a Marian key? Anyway, let's get out of here. Thankfully, there are no random encounters outside, so that's one nice little reprieve that we get here. Uh-oh, it's from you. Ooh, what's she doing? Oh, no. Oh no, someone else was cursed? Oh man. It's never ending with this cursing. I feel bad for the poor guy. Oh shit. Whoa. At least it's not my party member this time. Yeah. Whoa. She cursed them and then, like, killed them. What the hell? Please don't curse me. Oh, good, you're gonna leave. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah. I actually approve of you leaving, but I don't really approve of your parting gift. But this isn't exactly a mini boss. I don't have like 500 HP or anything else like that. Thank God. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and attack those guys. You, let's use fire on the ogres, and you will use a fire drake. And hopefully I'll be able to finish them off in one round. Not have to deal with this freaking summoner and all the crap that they can pull. Oh, God. Thankfully, Annie still has plenty of MP left for a uh, healing light, though, so that's really nice. I've been using David's MP mostly to heal. Oh, if you heal yourself, at least you're not attacking me. That... that's fine by me. Oh, great. You can guard. That's lovely. And my attack mages are pretty much out of MP at this point, which really sucks. Uh, just dragging this fight on even longer than it has to be. And you have plenty of MP. Let's have you use Holy... uh, Holy Light on the Ogres. Uh, you go after the evil summoners. You have a little bit of magic left, so you might as well go after him. And I think that you can just use a summon level 1, so, I mean, it's it's better than nothing. Whatever, we'll give it a shot. Woohoo! Go Annie! Yes! Hmm. 
What is up with this that Tom just stands there? That's so weird. Sometimes, um, whenever I summon with him, he'll summon like he's supposed to. Other times, he just stands there. Like, that really sucks. That's another reason why I hate using that summon spell. It's completely useless, and it might not even work. Huh, but we got a steel key. What can we use that for? And can we actually liberate this place? And is the king alive? Find out next time on Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.